Today, we're talking about trust. When you trust in something or someone, it means that you don't have to think about whether that person or thing will be there for you and do what is best for you. You just know they will. Do you know that right now you are putting trust in the chair you're sitting in? I bet you didn't walk in and say, I wonder if I can trust that chair to hold me up today. You didn't need to because you know what chairs are supposed to do. You've probably sat in one before, so that also helps your level of trust. Wouldn't it be nice if we could have that kind of trust in God? The kind where we didn't have to think about it. We just rely on him because we know he knows what to do for us. That's exactly what God wants from us. Rely on him so much that it's always our first thought. That's how we build trust. Trusting in God is a high road choice. That doesn't mean it's always easy to make that choice, but the more we trust, the more natural it becomes. Today's high road hero is probably not one you've heard of as much as some of the other Bible characters. His name is Ananias. He played an important role in the story of Saul, who we also know as Paul. Remember, Paul hated Christians. In fact, he made it his goal in life to try and have them put in jail or even killed for following Jesus. <gasps> Did you know that the day Saul met Jesus on the road, he was actually on his way to have some Christians arrested? But Jesus changed everything. Saul was blinded when the light from the sky shone in his eyes. Paul was in the presence of God. He was in the presence of Jesus. After he got up from the road, he was still blind. His friends took him to a house that Jesus told them to go to. There he waited for his eyes to heal and he prayed to God. This is where Ananias' story begins. Clear far away from that house, God spoke to Ananias and told him to go and find that house where a man named Saul was and pray for him. Now Ananias was a Christian and loved God with all his heart. He also knew Saul's name. All the Christians knew Saul's name. The one who would arrest them and even have them killed for being a follower of Jesus. <gasps> Ananias questioned God. He said, isn't this the Saul, the one who is putting Christians to death? Why, Lord? Why would you want me to pray for this awful man? But God assured Ananias that he knew who Saul had been. But more importantly, he knew who Saul was going to become. Saul would be one of the greatest followers of Jesus ever. Now Ananias trusted God, and he went to pray for Saul. When Ananias put his hands on Saul's face and prayed for him, fish-like scales fell off his eyes, and he could see. Ananias trusted God, and God used him in one of the greatest stories in the Bible. What about you? Do you trust God? Do you do what he asks you to do in the Bible? Even when it seems hard? Even when you're scared? If you said not always, you're not alone. A lot of people have trouble putting their trust in God, but we need to do it anyway. It's a choice we have to make and we have to work hard at it. Here are some tips that will help you put your trust in God. Take one, remind yourself that God can be trusted. Take two, act in faith, not in fear. And take three, pray about everything. Have a good week and put your trust in God day after day. He'll never let you down. See you next week.